Fast forward, looking at to tomorrow, the sun is meant to shine. There'll be rain later in the test match, we reckon. But with overheads, and you've played so much cricket at this ground here in Henningley, swing was a massive factor today. When the sun comes out, do you still expect it to be? Well, I remember in 2019 when the Aussies were bowled out for 170 odd. Yep. Um, and the next day we arrived and the sun was shining, well, and everyone said, Oh, it's a perfect day for batting. I said, Absolutely, I'm bowled out for what, 60 odd? 67, so, yeah. Um, I, I think tomorrow the pitch will go through nicely. I think the pace and the bounce in this surface will always offer something for the seamers. Clearly, when the sun shines, it just feels better as a batting unit. Uh, if the sun shines tomorrow, England have to bat the day. You know, yes, they've got to look to score, but. You know, I saw him Ben Duckett tonight, that aggressive nature against the bouncing ball. It offered a wicket. Uh, Harry just defending a little bit wider of the off stump uh, offers a wicket. Zach Crawley gets a decent ball. But again, if you're being ultra killed, can he leave that ball? Possibly, but yep. it's just not the way that they're playing. Um, England have played in the last year and a half in such an expansive way that I think Australia will probably just keep dangling the carrot and almost expect England to make mistakes. I'm not saying they can't go... Uh, a whole day without making a mistake that's near on impossible when you're playing quite risky cricket but they've got to nullify those mistakes because batting in the first innings for me is where England can win this test match if they get beyond Australia and more importantly they rest Mark Wood mm. Mark Wood can't be going out there tomorrow afternoon to bowl if he's out there tomorrow afternoon bowling um, I think Australia are going to win the game <laughs>